Across such large landmass countrywide does exist huge deposits of minerals ranging from gold, platinum, uranium, phosphates, silver and iron among others confirmed in a survey four years ago. However, experts are reasoning that Uganda's capacity to ensure full commercial exploration is barely average as a critical shortage of manpower still prevails in the country. Mineral wealth, as you take it out of the ground and get the money for it, it starts to go away. But intellectual wealth, that ability to solve problems, having students that are still around, that doesn't go away. It actually multiplies as you continue to create it. And so in the act of creation, you actually bring more wealth into the country rather than diminishing the country's uh, wealth over time. Andrew Watson, an academic field engineer with America's National Instruments Agency, argues that utilizing internet-based laboratories would go a long way in stimulating young graduates play a critical role towards filling the skills gap. Principles that you learn in iLabs are going to be appropriate to mining, technology, making automobiles, any, any uh, uh, industrial area. They are encouraged to come up with innovative ways of addressing the scarcity of laboratory infrastructure. And while these students are at it, they are also given other ingredient requirements for professionalism, including support for communication skills pertinent to professional practice, teamwork, collaborative work, and also sharing of experiences. Plus also they were speaking at the sidelines of an iLab exercise at Makerere University's Faculty of Technology in which emphasis on wide experiments was being encouraged. Reina Ogen.